This is the Indiegogo campaign for Grimoire. The ultimate classic retro old school fantasy role playing game. I'm your host tonight. I'm Cleveland M. Blake Moore. I'm a scientifically proven living fossil. I even have a note from the doctor. Experts examining the Lascaux caves in France discovered that in some instances, the same design had been painted over and redone hundreds of times. The resulting conclusion was inescapable and challenged the limits of human understanding. Obviously, the Neanderthals were the most severely mentally retarded hominids who ever existed. They were much worse than mere perfectionists. They were obsessed with revision and retrospection. Everything they did artistically always had to be perfect. At least we can be glad they are all long extinct. Most of them, anyway. For two decades, you have heard the rumors. Tonight, we will discover the truth. What is grimoire? It's a French word for a book of magic. To me, it's my magnum opus, my crowning achievement. My great display, an expressive jewel, my major work, a masterpiece, a masterstroke, a monumental accomplishment, my piece de resistance, my tour de force. It is the wall of my cave. Seventeen years of hellish unending madness. Ridiculed as an elaborate hoax by Australians. Described as a mythical holy grail of RPGs. A fun organization for atomic Nazi supermen. Rumored by David Hicks to be an alien agenda. Associated with unsafe household chemicals. Connected to urban legends of bent disappearances. Incredible as it may seem, all of these things are true. In Grimoire, you can ride on turtles. For secret buttons, in secret places, doing secret stuff. There are all kinds of creatures in the environment who want to kill you. Luckily, you can usually find the goods to kill them instead. In turn-based combat, of course because you don't want to rush. Grimoire is the ultimate classic retro old school fantasy role playing game. In the tradition of wizardry, Eye of the Beholder, Dungeon Master, Lands of Lore, Might and Magic, Stone Keep, and countless others from the golden era. Some of you know me as Texas Arcane. I'm the author of 212 published games for the Commodore 64. I was senior developer on Surtex sequel to Wizardry 7, Stones of Arnhem, another game that you've probably never heard of. My compatriot is Michael Shamgar, known as Shams, the CEO of Nocturnal Games Australia, creator of Flowerworks and the Ultimate Arcade. He was senior systems programmer on Stones of Arnhem. Nobody's ever heard of that game. Like all old-school fantasy role-playing games, Grimoire's got turn-based combat, first-person 3D, and party adventure with up to eight characters. Count Orlock is joining us. He's got a lot of junk. Or is it? 
That's anti-magic. That's good. Good spell. What else is this? Dazzler Dust. You can never have too much of that stuff. Repel Undead. Which is ironic because Count Orlock is himself undead. Ring Pro Magic. And this strange Batwing Ring. Might be able to sell that. Lovely furnishings inside his apartment here. And he's even gone to the trouble of putting a sign outside his door so you know it's his house. Count Orlock can interact with the environment like most of the NPCs in Grimoire. Got some stuff stashed behind this wall. Dead giveaway with the lantern being unlit. Again with the curtains. The world of Hyperborea is a fully realized fantasy world with its own history, races, and religions. There are dark mysteries, secrets, and discovery everywhere. The game has a rich storyline crafted by me over the course of decades with a mind-blowing conclusion that will leave you astounded. nasty creature, the Kraken. These guys don't stand a chance. They don't realize they're just part of the demo. I didn't actually give them a, enough weapons to defeat this creature. Their lunch. Six hundred hours of gameplay possible. A character library, party saves, 64 NPCs with 8,000 word vocabulary, 254 monsters, 1,000 items, 144 spells, 247 maps, multiple starts, and multiple endings. What more could you ask for? Puzzles in the game range from difficult, to intriguing, to obscure, but all of them are solvable with patience and with an eye for detail. Everything in Grimoire is related to everything else. Every story is connected to every other story. Every mystery has a solution. You have auto walking, auto mapping, map notes, auto healing, context sensitive magic, resurrect, recruit, retainers. The journal records all notes and hints. Many quests in many dungeons. You can climb, swim, ride in boats, and fall in pits. Before we release this game, We've already made up our minds to increase the resolution to 1024 times 768. We're going to increase that posted stamp viewport size to 720 by 600. We're going to improve the spell and effect animations and the user interface graphics. We're going to do this no matter what happens and release the game on May 2012. This is the item workshop. You can create weapons, repair items, sharpen them, apply poisons to them. If you're a Templar, you can enchant a weapon with an aura that makes it more effective. This girl's a Thaumaturge. She's going to try to combine two very disparate items to produce a new region, which you might not otherwise find in the game without her. Don't give up yet. Don't be discouraged. One more time. There you go. Take that thing off the bench. If we achieve our funding goal, we're going to have all new music score and sound effects. All new cutscenes and segues, all new mini quests and mini adventures, and additional effects animations. All these will complement the existing game and serve as the final layer of polish 
to make it perfect. Okay, we're going to try to flip through all the maps that exist in the game. Each one of the maps has its own puzzles, its own treasure, its own story, its own encounters, its own challenges, its own mysteries. Each map is integrated into all the maps. All the maps are integrated into the same story. There is a consistency running through Grimoire that unites the whole design of the game. This is hard to do without getting carpal tunnel syndrome. We're not even halfway through it yet. On and on and on. I didn't even remember making that map. I think I remember that one. That was a long time ago. I'm going to have to test that and make sure it's still working. Here we go. It's got to end sometime. Be realistic. It has to end. I'm pretty certain we're getting close to the end. Or the halfway mark. Anyway, we're just going to give up. we got to start somewhere. So we'll go down the ladder. No physical media for Grimoire will ever be available outside of fulfillment of pledges from crowdfunding on Indiegogo. Ever. For any reason. Until the end of time. Ever. The only place that anyone will ever get a hardback copy of the manual or a full color map of Hyperborea will be from a pledge fulfillment. It is exclusive to the Indiegogo campaign. We're not going to run any more campaigns anywhere else but on Indiegogo. In 10 years, those things are going to be worth a fortune on eBay. In Grimoire, everything is alive. Even the walls talk to you. Even the stones tell a story. This is the inner sanctum of one of the first boss level encounters we have, the first supervillain. The Black Lick. He was originally a good guy, but he was corrupted by a promise of immortality. He gave up his life before and came to this place. We've already found out his story before we encounter him. He's a very formidable opponent. You're not going to beat this guy with a couple spells of magic missile. He fights very strategically. He's got minions waiting in back there. They're going to come forward and do most of the fighting initially. Very, very tough guy to beat. No corporate games developer in their right mind would spend this much time developing a game like this. Only a true madman would invest this much effort. I am that madman. A game of this scope requires madness. This ordeal is drawing to a close. The game is approaching completion. It's going to happen, and you can be a part of it. Look at all that junk. We'd be better off just taking all of it. A lot of junk in Grimoire. Our game company is called Golden Era Games. That's the address of our website. A lot of things that happen in Grimoire don't necessarily advance the completion of the game. They're just moments in time. They're there to give you something to remember. To make you feel like you were part of this world. Sometimes it's a small act of kindness, like finding a seashell for a crab. These are all little moments in time that are part of an experience that you will never forget, unlike any game that you've ever played.
release this game in May 2013. It's either going to be heavily polished because we made the funding goals or it's going to be a little rough around the edges either way it's going to be released in May 2013. You will believe a baby can fly. A golden baby can fly. It's coming and it's going to be epic. Some of the people we encounter in Grimoire are our friends. They mean us well. They're constrained by their situation or their conditions that they can't solve our problems for us. They can only point us in the right direction. All of the friends that we meet in Grimoire are characters that we'll never forget. The world will never be the same again. In some small way, the golden era will return. May 2013. Join our campaign. We fight for the good. Help us crush Papa Mole. For $25, you can get a DRM free copy of the game through digital download with a manual and PDF and we'll put you on our emailing list. For $35 we'll ship you a DVD in a black case with a lovely cover insert, a manual and PDF. For $50 we'll give you a soft cover manual and a full color map poster as well as the manual and PDF form. For $75 we'll give you a hard cover manual printed on acid-free paper and a full-color poster shipped anywhere in the world. For $100, we'll give you the soundtrack CD and the soft cover hint guide, the total solution, in addition to a poster and hardcover manual. For $150, you can get your own custom item. For $250, you can get your own custom item in your own custom tomb with your own custom epitaph. We'll put the item in the tomb if that's what you want. For $500, you can get your own item, tomb, and a custom magic spell that will appear on the spell pages of the game forever. For $1,000, you can get all these, plus you can get a custom map region that you create within limits that we'll put into the game. And for $2,500, you can get one of the four remaining NPCs that can be recruited and retained in the party during the game. We owe a great debt to RPG Codex for giving us the encouragement and the motivation to resume the completion of Grimoire. The world of Hyperborea is a riddle. When you've answered it, you'll have completed a game that you'll never, ever forget. It had to end sometime. Maybe now my wife will change the locks on the house and let me sleep indoors again. May 2013. Or bust. It's coming. This time we're serious. 17 years. That's just plain crazy. Who works on a game that long? Mandatory quote by Nietzsche. Had to slide that in somewhere. Actually has nothing to do with the pitch really. We'll see you in Hyperborea. The land where all dreams converge.